Hey, this is Nate from Web801. In today's video, we're going to go over how to edit a landing page using ACF, which stands for Advanced Custom Fields. So the first thing we do is come to the login page. That will be yourdomainname.com forward slash WP hyphen login dot PHP. I put in my username and password and I click login. Then when I get here, this is the dashboard. For the purposes of this video, we'll go to pages and then all pages. And then one thing I like to do, this is sorted alphabetically. I like to click date and this will show me the most recent published. So I'm gonna go to landing page and then I will click edit. And you'll see here that we have things in tabs. So there's all these different tabs. And one thing I recommend is to open up the front end of the website so I can see what's happening here. And I can then go to the back end and see what's happening here. So this is the front end and this is the back end. So I'll start with the header section. You'll see there's a show hide button. If I wanted to hide, I'll click hide. And then if I wanted to show, I'll click show. So right now, this is actually showing. It's got the logo and it's got ready to invest and get started. That's where I would edit right here. Ready to invest, get started. And then it has a form ID which we'll go into at a later time, but that is just the number. You could also put a link there to a page if you wanted to. The next section is the hero section. That's what shows up right here. So there's the address or the name, the address, a call to action button, and then there's the background image. And you'll see, this is an important thing to note. There's a visual editor and there's a text editor. So this text editor is what I'm in right now. This shows that, oh, there's an H1, with the name and there's an H3 with the address. If I put it in the visual editor, it will look like this and I may not know exactly what type of code. So I like to start always in the text editor to make sure there's no hidden code there that I need to be aware of. And then another thing I'll recommend is I will highlight over this and then copy it and maybe put it in a text editor or a notepad or something just so I have that just in case. So there's the name, address, and then there's the call to action, learn more, and it takes them to a specific page on the site. So if I go here and I click learn more, it's going to scroll down to this section. The next section is the opportunity summary. So the title shows up here, and that's what shows up here, and then the image. I have done a video on how to edit images using a free tool called Canva. You can see that up in the corner right now. That will show you how to edit these. One thing I wanna take note of is when I click the edit button, I'll see the size, 688 by 367 pixels. And this one is a PNG image. So I wanna follow that. If I'm gonna change this image, I wanna follow those uh, metrics. And then there's the content, which shows up right here. Then I go back and there's the table. So there's the minimum investment. That's the call to action button that we've created that shows up right here. Um, and then there's the table of all the different things. Now, one thing you'll notice here on the right is it's got a plus and a minus sign, remove or add row. So I could add another row right there, or I could remove this row and then click remove and then it disappears. And then it's got the call to action, get started, which links to a specific page. And then for the most part, I'll just go through these others. There's a property details section. So that's gonna show up here and there's the images. You can add more images there. And then there is the content. That's a list. And that's also edited with the text editor. And then there's the big image. So three images, the list, and then the big image in the background. And if I just keep going down through this, I go to the next tab. There's the business plan. So this one is a little bit tricky because if I get here, the, this image is aligned right. So here I can see there's some HTML code here. I'm going to click on the visual editor in this one because if I go back to text, there is no other hidden code. It's just this image. So I'm going to click on the visual and then I can see this image is aligned. Now, if I click on the image just once, you'll see there's the left aligned, there's the center aligned, and there's the right aligned. And that's why that image is showing right aligned. So that's a, a high level overview of how to edit this landing page. If you have questions, leave them in the comments below and stay tuned for the next video where I talk about how to get this map section showing up right in this section of the page. I'm Nate from Web801 where we turn brochure websites into sales machines.